Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This one we're going to take a look at my 4 star gold Hall of Fame Ted and a tour build for him. Uh, I do have a strap, you can see it's got medals unlocked but I don't have them on for this video. Um, of note, um, I do have his silver gear, yellow gems do 75% more damage. So the yellow gems definitely hit hard. I can't unequip the gear. Um, I'm using this moveset, I rather like this one, it's kind of fun. Um, some low charge nonsense going on with wild cards. Also though, this double green and the sub is quite good as well. In fact, it's very likely that'll probably work better for you. Um, you lay the, the, the cross break, X breaks down, and then you put the five by one over the top and blow it up. And then you use the sub to slow them down. Works pretty well. I'm having a lot of fun with this build. Um, nothing too crazy in here. Uh, we got Woods, we got Motu Goldberg, Santa Hogan, and then Lacey Evans for purple and green gem damage, just because it's two. And the wild cards, if we connect them, blows up the board. You can see even without a strap, gem damage is pretty good across the board, um, with yellow being um, higher. So, uh, strapped up, he would be much better. Already beat the first note on the Yokozuna Tour. Let's go for Rude on the second here, and then maybe beyond. We'll see how it goes. Um, I like to put this out before the loot box gems. Ideally, we want to keep all of our loot box gems. Also, ideally, um, we want to not wipe out any of our blues. And if we can get yellow um, next to blue, so much the better um, to get some wild card connections, hopefully, um, with our blue. Of course, then you just drop a row break like that and, and mess everything up because you're talking and play poorly. But, you know. It is what it is. Hall of Fame Rude's gonna do his really annoying every turn row break thing. And yeah. I love that so much. Wanna keep blues and yellows. And now we make our loot box gems into blue. Which I should have done last turn, but poor play. And every single loot box gem turns into a wild card which a lot are connecting to yellow, so I anticipate this hitting quite hard. Especially considering he's not strapped. Yeah, you can see, totally wiped him out. Like I said, I really like this build set for Ted, it's a lot of fun. And we'll keep right on chugging along here. Also, um, if you do have a strap but not the gear, the strap would easily more than make up for um, the damage I'm doing with the one gear. So, let's pop this off. Um, if you needed props against like Sarge, uh, blue or red, Django down, I doubt we're going to need them. We have a class advantage and we hit hard. And then uh, maybe purple up, I guess. But I can't see us needing them here. Let's see if I cannot make a misplay here while I'm talking. Maybe I just won't talk. Um, I, we're going to lose one blue gem. It's fine. Lots of yellow on the board. Decent amount of blue. This should end up pretty good for us again. I shouldn't have said that, though. I was really hoping this one would turn. Anyway, let's see what happens. Not as much connection to yellow here, but lots of purple, so we're definitely going to reload. Getting some yellow to cascade in. Oh yeah, we're going to be fine. It just Hall of Fame Ted hits really hard. He really, really does. I remember being impressed with him on his preview, and I've just enjoyed playing him a bunch. We'll see what happens by the end of this month, but I really would kind of like to bring him up, because he's a lot of fun for me to play. 
But it's a long month and there's a lot of new Hall of Famers out there. So let's try the final match. See how that goes. 17k Yoko. Uh, Yoko has some nonsense to him. Uh, so he, at least he doesn't have his gears. Uh, if we need to lower, it looks like purple, yellow, or red. I have lots of purple, so we'll just do that. He's got a really annoying sub that's a choose sub that'll fill his finisher. And we don't want to get into that loop. Decent amount of blues on the board. Um, yellow's everywhere. Okay. We're probably going to need to recycle this. Sadly, I see no purple. So it's not looking good. Not looking good. Lots of all the other colors. 200k, yeah, he kicked right out of that. Okay. I'm gonna take this not take this yellow because then he'll get the purple the red is there that gives him the purple for the sub too uh, generally this is just not good hopefully he takes uh, that sort of works not really he's gonna hit his finisher This feels like it's going to be a big ol' redo. I mean, I could always uh, use my purple Shango here. Um, or we could just lose and play the match again. Or maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe we'll survive this. And then survive the sub. Yeah, I don't think so. We'll see. Eh, got a yellow match. Just missed. All right, try two. See how try two goes. That was pretty unlucky not connecting to any purple and very few yellow on those wild cards. It can happen. It can happen. That'll work. Not the best board, but we do have some purple lined up and some yellow. <clears throat> so we should get a pretty good pin here and get a full recycle. Both. No cascade though. Sad panda. really want to leave this blue here because that'll give us a yellow and a purple match so let's put this here the yeah excellent this should work out hopefully pretty well
Not as many wild cards as I'd like, but they are positioned pretty nicely. We're going to need one more turn. This is definitely going to do it. They're not too shabby, really. Hall of Fame Ted can get the job done, for sure. Uh, so if you need to use Ted this weekend or on any of the other tours this month, hopefully uh, this build will help you out. Um, like I said, the other one is possible, too. I just really enjoy this one. It's a lot of fun. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. That really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.